Hello, hello, ghosts and ghouls. Why? Why did I say that? Hello, hello, how are we all doing? Are we doing well? I'm doing really well because I got a new phone and I'm so excited. Ugh, finally. <laughs> so today I'm feeling super duper mega ultra Halloween-y. If I had to put it in a number out of 10, I'd be like a 250. And this is because I watched the new Netflix film, A Babysitter's Guide to Monster Hunting. And as usual, I took some notes in my trusty book. I'll start off with just like the general vibe of the film. It is more of like a kid's film, like sort of pre-teen, early teen, that kind of age group. But I absolutely loved it. <laughs> it really felt like sort of Disney Channel original movie vibes. I was living for it, absolutely living for it. <laughs> in it is like a secret society of kids and those kind of things I was absolutely obsessed with. Stuff like House of Anubis, Am I High, just anything where kids were involved in stuff that kids aren't usually involved in. Like 13, 14 year olds saving the world from monsters. Yes, please. <laughs> 22 year old me loved it. I know that like 12, 13, 14 year old me would have been absolutely obsessed with this film. I probably would have watched it about 10 times by now and it only came out on Thursday. <laughs> the opening of it, I don't know if it was just because Tom Felton was in it and I was in that kind of headspace, but it really felt Harry Potter-esque. It was the score mixed with like the zooming in of the house and everything. I just expected someone to be in there going like, Lumos. <laughs> I don't know. It was probably just me getting excited about Tom Felton. <laughs> I was absolutely in love with the house that she goes to babysit at. The door just closed automatically and it's all like on one level, an open plan and I just wanted to be in that film, living in that house and fighting monsters. And the little boy she was babysitting was adorable, little Jacob, oh my god. I think my favourite bit was where um, Tom Felton's character, the bogeyman type thing, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce it. <laughs> the grand, you know, the future me will help. Thank you, future me. <laughs> yeah, so this guy um, starts singing a lullaby to the little boy to get him to go to sleep so that he can use the boy's gift of dreams to bring all these nightmares alive. So he starts singing the lullaby and I got, really confused. I was like, why is he singing? Is this a musical? And the little boy's like, why are you singing? Like, That's what I said. I absolutely loved Tom Felton in this. He was so good. I haven't seen him do much else other than Harry Potter. Like, trust me, it's on my list, but I've got a lot to watch at the moment. But this was really cool because it was so different to Draco. It was very like big and extravagant. Not gonna lie, the hands coming round the wardrobe and that terrifies me. Just the concept of it terrifies me. I'm a grown up. <laughs> Why am I scared of monsters coming out of a wardrobe? <laughs> I've also written in my notes, I want a tail. <laughs> there was a scene where the, uh, the GG, him, yeah. Um, <laughs> He, like, uses his tail to, like, whip one of the kids or, like, he does something really cool with it. So I was like, oh, my God, that's so cool. I want a tail. <laughs> I was getting so excited watching this. <laughs> I was living for Tom's look in this, though. He looked like a scary, serious black and I was loving it. <laughs> what I love about Tom as an actor, though, he plays really horrible characters he always plays like a villain from the ones that i've seen and him as a person he is just the most adorable little sweetheart ever <laughs> there is a picture of him as his character in this with his dog i'll put it here it's so precious i love willow <laughs> another one of my favorite things was the little monsters i think they were called toadies 
They were so funny. <laughs> they were a bit like in Despicable Me when the minions got turned into the purple minions and they're all going, rah, rah. <laughs> They don't speak like proper words, but it's kind of like a mumbled version of English. Kind of like what I speak most of the time. <laughs> Another one of my absolute highlights in the film though was I don't want to give the spoiler of what the situation is but um, someone uses a laser pointer as the best defensive strategy ever. <laughs> Overall I really enjoyed this film and I got really excited as I do with these kind of like teen films and I really hope they make a second one because I just loved it. Thanks for watching, give it a like if you liked it, subscribe if you want more of this. But as always, stay safe, look after yourselves. Bye!